二零二二第十七、第十八條咧，係有關於呼吸嘅。咁下面有兩幅圖啦，就俾我哋做參考。第一幅圖咧就顯示咗一個儀器，有個裝置，就係、是、幫我哋監察翻一個人嘅呼吸模式嘅。四咁佢有兩部分，第一部分咧就係、是、一條有彈性嘅觸胸帶啦。第二部分咧就係、是、一個感應器，去探測翻呢個。觸胸帶嘅張力嘅 tension 即係張力，咩意思呢？就是、你幻想係一條橡筋，我哋拉到佢好行嘅話咧，個張力咧就好高嘅。咁如果啦，我哋放手嘅話咧，嗰條橡筋放翻鬆鬆泡泡嘅話咧，個張力咧就好細嘅。而第二幅圖咧就想顯示翻啦，當呢個人呼吸嘅時候咧，嗰、那個觸胸帶嘅張力有啲咩嘅變化咯？好，咁而家我哋睇一睇題目啦。呼氣究竟係邊一個時段發生咧？咁自不然睇翻 P Q R S T U 啦。啊，究竟呢幅圖咩意思咧？就係睇翻啦 ，Y S S 就係觸胸帶嘅張力變化，隨住時間過去啦，究竟點樣顯示出嗰個呼吸嘅模式咧？咁啊，自不然啦，題目就係考緊我哋呼吸嘅機制啦。要帶動到吸氣同埋呼氣，主要嘅角色就係肋間肌同埋橫膈膜肌肉。而今次呢個呢，係觸胸帶，我哋特別想睇嘅就係胸腔嘅體積啦。自不然呢，我哋都係想睇返呢肋間肌啦，同埋胸腔體積嘅互動啦。咁啊，首先去理解一下啦。當我哋吸氣嘅時候，肋間肌收縮，令到我哋嘅胸腩 rib cage 咧。向上向外移動，從而我哋嘅胸腔體積就會增加，令到我哋嘅觸胸帶嘅張力就會上升。咁所以你睇翻幅圖啦 ，P Q R 啦 ，T U 啦，咁今次我哋唔用 V 啦，我哋當埋 W 啦，咁啊 T U W 咁樣去睇嘅話咧，呢、這個黃色嘅期間咧，嗰、那個人就係吸緊氣啦。相反咯，當個人呼氣嘅時候咧，肋間肌肉放鬆。就令我哋嘅胸腩咧向下向内移动，就令到我哋嘅胸腔体积下降。咁即係话啦，我哋嗰个束胸带呢，就冇被拉扯咯，咁、那个张力就会下降咗啦。所以你见到啦，喺第二幅图咧已经俾晒标示你㗎啦。P Q R 同埋 T U 呢，就係、是、一个吸气嘅过程。而 R S T 咧就係呼氣嘅過程，所以答案呼之欲出啦，就係 R T 啦。咁其實過往啦都已經出過有關於呼吸模式嘅片噶啦，咁啊快快手睇一睇咯，同而去理解一下啦，究竟佢可以用咩辦法去問你呢？實有好多嘢可以問你噶，啲肌肉嘅收縮放鬆嘅情況啦，我哋個胸腩啦，究竟佢嘅喐動係如何啦？我哋胸腔嘅體積變化啦，我哋個肺嘅內部嘅氣壓嘅變化啦，甚至乎氣流嘅來往啦。咁今次我就講一個題型嘅變。就啦，咁啊，究竟啦喺边一个时间咧，我哋个胸腔体积系最大，又或者喺边一个时候咧个胸腔体积系最细嘅咧？咁啊，留言区留低你嘅答案。Two two two question seventeen and eighteen are about breathing, and there are two diagrams for reference. Diagram one it shows a device which is used to monitor the breathing pattern of a person. It consists of an elastic band stripped around a person's chest. And a sensor which detects the tension of the elastic band. So how can we experience the tension? The example is just like we are stretching the elastic band, so the tension is higher. What if we release the elastic band, so the tension will be lower? And for the diagram two, it shows the changes in the tension of the elastic band during breathing, breathing in and breathing out. So let's take a look at the question. Exhalation takes place during which period? So you can see that I add some label on the diagram too. It shows the y-axis tension of the elastic band, and the y-axis is the time p q r s t u. And you can see that I add the label already to tell you that which period is breathing in and which period is breathing out. Because the whole question is checking the concept about the mechanism of breathing. How can we bring about inhalation and exhalation? We rely on the intercostal muscle, diaphragm muscle, and in this question, we are using the elastic band strapped around a person's chest. For we focus on the rib cage and the volume of the thoracic cavity. So we start from inhalation. First of all, the intercostal muscle contracts and it will move the rib cage upwards and outwards. Then the volume of the thoracic cavity will increase. Therefore, the tension of the elastic band will increase because the elastic band is stretched. Therefore, for the P Q R and T U, or even we say W, these two periods, 
the person is breathing in, breathing in. And for exhalation, the intercostomuscle relax and move the ribcage downwards, inwards, and make the volume of the thoracic cavity decreases. Therefore, the elastic band will not be stretched. Therefore, the tension of the elastic band will decrease. Therefore, we can see that for RST, within this period, this person is breathing out. Therefore, the answer is C. In 2013, there were two questions asking the breathing pattern as well. So for this table, there are a lot of things for us to ask about the breathing pattern. For example, the contraction or the relaxation of the muscle, the movement of the ribcage, and how is the change of the diaphragm, so the volume of the thoracic cavity, or even the air pressure in the lungs. And I give you one example of the possible question variation. At which moment the volume of the thoracic cavity is the largest? And at which moment the volume of the thoracic cavity is the smallest? So leave your answer in the comment section. Let's see your concept is clear or not.